Outside court, a lone protester shouted support for the detective's book, which claimed that Madeline was dead. Inside, Madeline's parents had told the judge of the pain and distress the book had caused them. There's no doubt the, the, the damage done has is, is been severe. I mean, we've got people here screaming things, and if that is representative of what people in this country and other countries think, then you know we're fighting a losing battle. The McCann's adversary is Gonzalo Amaral, the ex-detective once in charge of the investigation into Madeline's disappearance. In his book, The Truth of the Lie, he wrote that Madeline died accidentally and her parents covered it up, claiming she'd been abducted. In court, Mrs McCann told of the effect on their young twins. Sean asked me in October, Mr Amaral said you hid Madeline. I just said that he said a lot of silly things. It's very distressing to us as adults, so for a child it would be very, very distressing. During his evidence, Jerry McCann said Mr Amaral had been wrong to claim in his book that sniffer dogs had detected blood and the smell of death in the holiday apartment. The book states it as fact, but it's not, he said. The judge warned Mr McCann that the libel trial wasn't about trying to establish what had happened to Madeline. Madeline was nearly four when she vanished from the family's holiday flat in 2007. Last month, Scotland Yard officers joined Portuguese police in searches of land near the apartment in Praia de Luz. And last week, the UK police sat in on the first interviews with four suspects who'd agreed to be questioned. The McCanns say the book stopped witnesses coming forward with information that might have solved the case years ago. Whoever took Madeline is still out there. And whoever that person is, or, or persons, they must have been laughing during these last six years at what's been told. The libel trial was adjourned, but it isn't quite over. The judge has ordered Mr Amaral to reveal how much money he's earned from his book. Martin Brunt, Sky News, Lisbon.